everybody welcome back to my channel anybody that's new welcome just want to do a few shout outs recently to mary nancy rose kathy valerie laura thank you for all the lovely comments that i've received on my channel you guys are awesome really thank you so much so today we're going to do the pumpkin uh chariot uh i think you can call it pumpkin wagon pumpkin chariot I'm gonna use some Jenga blocks. You can see some of them are painted here. This was from, I was gonna use these for barn doors. I kind of pulled them apart. So they're gonna be on the inside. So you won't see the red and white. So the bottom part where I wanna put the floral form will be on the inside. So the bottom part where the floral form will sit has a 13 on one row, 13 on the next, equaling to total 26. You can do whatever color you want. I just used all the brown ones because I did use some of the, the multicolor that comes in the pack like this. I did use those ones for a different projects. So I just thought then I don't have to paint this. This will be on the inside anyways. The sides are both uh, four, uh, two rows of four, eight on each side. And over here, four rows of four, which will be 16 on each side. So how I want to put them in will be like this. We'll have to put a little dab of, but you're not gonna see it anyways. So I'm gonna glue them. I've already glued them together, as you can see. I'm just gonna glue this part together. Now, I would measure it. So I grabbed this floral form from DT. I did cut it down on one side so it could fit on the inside. like such. It's just gonna be a little bit shorter, but that's fine. So I will glue it like that. And that's how we're gonna do the box part. So let me get this glued and then we'll move on to the next step. So I grabbed two Dollar Tree pumpkin wreaths uh, forms. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them back on back. I'm going to secure them on the top. I'm going to use some jute rope from the top. Now I've seen many, uh, I've seen a few different ones do done a different way. Some of them have actually, um, cut the, cut it here with the wire cutters and put beads which is cool too. You can do the beads on there. Some have wrapped jute rope all around it. What I went to Dollar Tree, I looked around and I actually found this yarn, this knitting yarn. It wasn't anywhere near where the fall stuff was coming out. It was just in the crafting section where all the yarn is. I just thought it had really pretty colors. It is quite thin. So I guess I'm just trying to find, of course, now I can't. Let's see here. I don't know where the end is. Oh, there we go. So I've decided what I wanted to do is I'm going to use the, I'm gonna be here all day. I'm gonna wrap it, I'm gonna glue it on the top and I'm gonna wrap it all the way, loop it all the way around, all the way down. I am gonna do the jute rope though for the top. The bottom part where we're, I'm going to show you how we're going to stick it into the form once the the blocks, the Jenga blocks little uh, container is, is dry, I will show you. I wouldn't go right to the bottom just because you're going to stick it. You can, but I'm just going to leave a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it off screen and I'm going to glue them all the way around. I'm actually going to do that on both of the forms. I am not going to secure them because it'll be easier to work when they're not together just yet. And then I will move on to the next step. So depending on what you want to do, the jute rope, or if you want to put beads on them, uh, it's really up to you. But like I said, I'm going to try this yarn out. I think it just has the pretty cool fall colors. I will come back and then we will go on to the next step. Okay, so I put my flower form. As you can see, I was playing with the 
the parts of the bottom of the reef and I was just sticking it in. So I'm gonna have it wider. I'm not gonna actually have it both together. I will show you that in a second. I'm uh, gonna turn it sideways. I just did a fast coat on there because there was a bit of chips in there and the floral form, I cut it down a bit. So we got it in. I bought these at Dollar Tree. Um, I peeled off right underneath. They're kind of hard to get off, but even if the paint comes off. So one, I was able to get off without a hitch. It just depends on where you want to put it on here. Uh, the other side I peeled off. I'm going to glue them really good. I'm going to use my Well Bond. I bought it at Rona, which is a part of Lowe's. I find it works amazing. I, I like it way better than E6000 glue. I find it has a better hold. So I will do both. I bought four of them. So I will do two on each side. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit trick. I'm just going to pull these apart. So these are a little time consuming to wrap with this yarn. Now, if anybody did the plastic reef that I did for Easter, you know it takes a long time to tie those on. Well, this one took time, but not as much. First one, because it's so fine when you're wrapping it, so it's really thin. What I did on the second half is I actually doubled it. Uh, where do I have it? I just had it here. So when I was wrapping it, let me just show you here. When I was wrapping it around, I just tied a knot and did it on like started on a corner. You can, I didn't really use that much hot glue on there because I was just tying it and pulling it the opposite way on the corners when I started it. So I'll show you a little trick. So when I was wrapping it, I would wrap a bunch like this. I'll just make sure that it's all fluffy and then squish it like that. That's all I did. And do the exact same thing. So it was fuller and then you don't have to paint the metal part or anything like that. So now say you only make it to here and you're at the end of the rope. All I did is just go to no hot glue. Let's just can do it in front of the TV. That's what I did with the plastic wreath one. Pass time faster. Then I just tied another piece of rope like this once I got to the end on here and just added another section, tied it and kept going. But I did long parts, so it was a longer to do. But And then I just kept going and it just wrapped really nice as you can see. Now I've decided I was going to keep it closed that you can still see through it, but I did take the other side I didn't want to do because I felt like I've wasted already time on there so the other side of the reef I've kept it open this is going to be stuck in the floral form anyways I am just I forgot to get I was going to do cinnamon sticks up here today and I forgot to get them at the grocery store so I'm just going to use some jute rope and wrap them around on both the tops of them so let me get these glued. I am going to let them sit for a few hours and then we will come back on and we'll show you how to put it inside. While I'm letting the wheels dry, I just wanted to show you this thing that I bought last Christmas. Uh, I was horrible at making bows. I picked it up at Walmart for 20 bucks. I watched so many YouTube videos I don't know, maybe it's my nails, my hand. I, I just can't seem to hold them and it looks so easy in the videos that I looked how to make bows and I couldn't do it. This one's the Bow Genius. Awesome thing that I've ever bought. Makes amazing bows. I'll just quickly show you. So you just put your zip tie in. You could use string, I guess, too. I'm just gonna show you quickly and then I already have one made. You just take whatever ribbon you want. So I have one here. I guess there's different ways. I've only used it, I think, like three or four times. But you put your ribbon in like this. Make a loop. I think these are the only ones I've ever done. You do another loop.
and it gives you, and if you want to, you want your bows longer so you can measure it when you're actually putting out your bows. If you wanted to do bigger, go down smaller in size. And then once you do whatever layers you want on it, uh, I use for the one, for the carriage that I'm doing, I'm actually using this one from DT. There's this nice uh, festive Thanksgiving one. And I had, uh, let me see here. Oh, apparently I used the whole roll of it. Uh, just, it was just a little bit of um, like a burlap kind of uh, ribbon. So I'm just gonna show you, cause I already made one. I haven't cut the sides down yet and I'm gonna put a little tie. But once you lift it up, you can just fluff it how you want it and it comes out trim it as such you play around with it and then you just tighten it and you cut them on angles or if you want to do like a, I don't even know like a diamond in there I just wanted to show you that so another thing I wanted to mention so I am going to be doing some giveaways I'm going to be starting sometime in September I'm not sure yet just make sure when you watch my videos, pay attention. I haven't thought of the contest, how I'm going to do this yet. I'd love to give everybody for my birthday. I got a big box of the mini 72 um, tumbling towers. I got a bunch for my birthday. And I also have some smaller ones, the multicolor ones to give away. So I will be doing giving away some subscribers on my channel. I probably do about three of them. And then I do have a Facebook crafty shopper page. That as well, I will be doing some giveaways on there. So stay tuned for that. So I'm just going to let those things dry. And then once uh, we can move on and finish up our uh, craft we're doing today. Okay, so I did let the pumpkins dry on the little carriage part. And it's quite solid. The pumpkins are pretty hard. So I don't think the weight or anything will have anything uh, to worry about. I'm going to use Well Bond. I'm going to stick it, as you can see, I've put uh, the form in, the reform in there a few times playing around. Like I said, I'm not going to do it. Um, I hope you can see that. I'm going to do them spaced out a bit to give a little bit more room. So I am going to do that. I'm going to do some Well Bond and I'm going to let it sit for a couple hours. Um, I just wanted to show you on the pumpkins. I actually just uh, put some tacks in to make it look more like a wheel. You can use a button. There's so many different things you can use. I just found some tacks that I had on hand. So let me get that glued and then I'm gonna decorate inside. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna play around with it a bit off camera and then I'm gonna come back and show you what I've, uh, I've done. Okay, everybody, I just put some flowers, fall flowers and stuff like that. I did put some hay on the bottom before I stuck the flowers in the flower form. I put on the bow on top looks pretty nice uh, i actually added some lights i didn't go with the candle this time uh I, I did think about it but i changed my mind it's hard to see with the lighting and stuff like that but i did just put a, a fairy light back in there and just underneath to brighten it up and i think it'd be really good please make sure you like and subscribe and we will see you soon bye